Hello and welcome to Zirconia Home Remedies. Today I'll tell you five alkaline foods you should be eating. Now number one is kale. Kale is absolutely powerful. It's what I call is a superfood. It's full of antioxidants, it's great for detoxes and it's high in vitamins and also potassium and magnesium. Now number two is spinach. This is absolutely crucial because it's high in chlorophyll. Now chlorophyll is what protects the plants from the sun and what keeps them green. It protects them from sun damage and a lot of people don't realise this. If you take plants that are high in chlorophyll and you juice them, now you're getting the benefits as well. So just like the plant becomes protected from the sun damage, you now become protected from the plant damage because it does something with your blood and also your skin and your melanin levels. Now number three is broccoli. Now broccoli is amazing because not only does it have antioxidants in, but it's anti-inflammatory. So it's almost like a, a tablet. You know how you would take a tablet or a painkiller or something to get inflammation down. There's no need for that. If you're eating enough broccoli and in anti-inflammatory foods, you're perfect. You're not going to be inflamed. Now a lot of different conditions and diseases, a lot of problems have a root cause or link to inflammatory problems. So number four is celery. Now celery helps good you know, bone repair. Now that's what you need. Not only does it help with bone repair that's already damaged, but it also strengthens those bones. So if you've got damaged bones, you need plenty of celery, plenty of celery. You can do juices with celery and you can have celery in sandwiches. Finally, and number five is wheatgrass. Now wheatgrass is absolutely full of chlorophyll like spinach and it does so much as well. Wheatgrass is powerful, especially wheatgrass juicing. You know, if you're doing a fast with wheatgrass and juices, definitely use this method. You know, use lots of wheatgrass. You know, start off slow with wheatgrass at the start. That's just a tip. If you haven't had much wheatgrass, anything, you know, get the body used to it. Start off with half a glass, then build it up slowly throughout the days and as you regularly use it. So what does it do? Not only is it high in chlorophyll, but it gets rid of the body's toxins and what you'll find is that I have a video on my channel which goes into a bit more detail and I tell you seven more wheatgrass health benefits which I'll leave linked below. But the main thing you need to know is it's high in chlorophyll, it will get rid of all those toxins, you know, digestion it helps with. It's really, really powerful. And that's it from this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments below if you use any of these five things. And if they work, what's your results and your experiences? And also, if there's any other videos you'd like me to make, let me know below. And thank you so much for watching.